we all remember something that is not real. What is the Mandela Effect? This video is probably the most excited I've ever been to film a video. <laughs> This theory is going to be on the Mandela effect. If you don't have a glass of ice water readily accessible, go ahead and get that as well. And if you have asthma problems, go ahead and get your inhaler. If you're stressed out already and you're going into this video kind of foggy in the head, pop a Xanax, snort a Xanax. You guys would not stop asking me to make a video on the Mandela effect. 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 Have you ever woken up thinking it's Tuesday, when it's actually Wednesday? The Mandela Effect. This is just one in many cases proving how mysterious our world can really be. The Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect. What an amazing and genius creation for our society to sink their teeth into. The fact that forgetting a certain memory or how a word is spelt on a particular brand can result in time travel, or falling into a parallel universe is incredible to witness. Almost makes you wonder, where is our world going? And what other supernatural phenomenon will our minds discover in this extraordinary time that we're living in? With how incredible this conspiracy theory has come, I really doubt anything could ever replace it, or ever be as big as this. The Flat Earth, Illuminati confirmed, the fake moon landing, the JFK assassination, nothing. And I repeat, nothing could be as incredible as the Mandela Effect. Mandela I've been spending effect. my years living a lie, thinking one thing was one thing, and then realizing it's actually not that thing, but in fact, some other kind of thing that looked very similar to the thing that I thought was the thing at the start. But it wasn't that thing. This is a conspiracy theory that I have been requested to do for some time. And since I make theories that truly do impact the world in every way possible, going as far as making people question their reality, which I'll get back to shortly, I thought I would take a look at this so-called Mandela effect, and dive into its lore and find out what exactly is going on, if there really is anything to it, and what exactly is causing the Mandela effect to the entire human race. Well, first of all, I think it's probably best if I explain what the Mandela Effect is, as some of you are probably scratching your heads as you've never heard it before. According to knowyourmeme.com, the Mandela Effect refers to a phenomenon in which a large number of people share false memories of past events. Some have speculated that the memories are caused by parallel universes spilling into our own, while others explain the phenomenon as a failure of collective memory, which is obviously not true, so we'll just ignore that last one and just class it as silly and disprove because I I said so. How did the Mandela effect come into place, though, you may be asking? Well, in 2010, blogger Fiona Broom coined the term Mandela effect to describe a collective of false memories she had discovered at the Dragon Con convention, where many others believed that former South African president Nelson Mandela died during his imprisonment in the 1980s. That year, Broom launched the site MandelaEffect.com to document the various examples of the phenomenon. So, a lot of you may be asking for examples of this conspiracy theory. Well, you are in luck, because I have been going around the internet and I have had to look for these examples of the so-called Mandela Effect, and I am going to present them for you today, all in this video, as many as I could find, and dive into the depth of this lore. And then once we have gone through all the examples of the Mandela Effect, I shall then present to you my theory, and what I think is really going on here, the true secret of the Mandela Effect. Something so dark and sinister that it involves something beyond your own imagination. And I think I have it solved. I really do. And I do think it has something to do with my channel. The videos that I have made and the comments section that I have seen 
they have really helped me discover the truth about the Mandela Effect. The Mandela and I will be diving into that later in the video. Not now, of course, that would be just silly. So I'm going to go through the evidence of the Mandela Effect and talk to you effect, about effect, effect, all the things effect, effect. that have happened and the things that people have spoken about. So, without further ado, let's move on to the first one that I found rather interesting. So a lot of you may remember the JFK assassination, correct? Obviously, that's about one of the presidents getting shot. He was driving in a car at a parade. I, I, I can't remember what exactly happened, but he was getting shot and eventually died. But there's something far more interesting than that of a guy getting his head blown up. Oh yes, something much more peculiar. How many people do you remember being in the car at that time? Was it four people? Because there are four seats. You know, for the driver, passenger, and the two people at the back. So it would make sense that there are four people. And I'm pretty sure you actually answered with, yes, there are certainly four people, no one else whatsoever. As I clearly remember counting the amount of people that were in the car when he was shot. When he was shot, I was like, oh my goodness, how many people were in the car at that time? Well, you would be incorrect. As it turns out that that wasn't the actual case. It turns out that there was actually six people in the car on that time. Many people have questioned that they don't remember six people being in the car. They quite clearly remember them being four, especially even in people who have parodied the event or reenacted the event. They have always shown four people in the car, even going as far back as The Simpsons. They showed the JFK assassination, and even they put only four people in the car. But why? Why did they decide to do such a thing? Was there something about this that that was truly hard to mention? I can't, don't know where I'm going with that. Did people just kind of not really see those people in the corner? Or did they, did they not see those two extra people? Why do people only think there's four? Well, obviously, as some people have said, we're living in an alternate timeline, which is why so many people can remember it, but yet it doesn't exist in this world. Rather incredible, if you ask me. But if you don't believe that, then let's move on to another example of the Mandela Effect the that Mandela may Mandela actually Mandela grab Mandela more Mandela of your attention. Mandela. The next one is rather a short one, but it was from the movie Moonraker, a 1970s movie that actually featured a character known as Dolly, dressed like a nerd, but one of the things people remember is that Dolly had braces. Well, believe it or not, now she doesn't. People are going back to the movie and finding out that when she was smiling, you can actually see her teeth and not some metal gear wrapped around them. People are so confused by this because they quite clearly remember her having braces during this movie, but now all of a sudden, they've disappeared. Quite peculiar, if you ask me. Something very strange is going on around this, and something that I can't quite put my finger on. Really, really strange. But obviously that isn't the only thing that we can bring up. We can obviously move on to even more evidence, as there is tons of evidence on the internet that talk about the structure of the Mandela Effect and the events and evidence that happened. So let's move on to the next one that could actually persuade you. In the 1990s, people remember a movie where Sinbad plays a genie. Not Sinbad from the th this this Sinbad here. They people remember him playing a, a genie in a movie in the 1990s. But when people have gone back, they find out that that movie didn't even exist. And even Sinbad has come out and said himself that this isn't true. He never played in a movie like this. So people are now really questioning what exactly is going on. Is there some kind of time traveler that's gone back in time and stopped Sinbad from playing a genie in a movie and then has told Sinbad to publicly say that this never happened and that he never had this conversation with this time traveler? Or is something much deeper happening here? We'll have to keep diving in and finding out. Uh, another thing that's even bigger than just movie titles, New Zealand. New Zealand has moved from above Australia 
water below it. People vaguely remember New Zealand being above Australia, but now it's below it. What exactly has happened? Something has happened in our time frame to cause New Zealand, the entire country, to move below Australia. Sending people completely insane and confused as to what exactly is going on here. Something is not right. Something has changed. Something in the timeline has, has really affected us. And now we're even more confused because an entire country is in a completely different place from where it was supposed to be. Isn't Australia supposed to be known as the land down under? I'm unsure. Well, how about this? Another one with Looney Tunes. So we all remember the cartoon with Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and all doing bizarre little funny cartoons and, and a very entertaining thing to watch. Well, it turns out the way it's spelt is spelt in a completely different way than what you may have first thought. We all see Looney Tunes and think it's spelt Looney Tunes, T-O-O-N-S. That's how the majority of people remember Looney Tunes being spelt, my, me, myself included. I remember it distinctly being Looney Tunes when I was younger, or at least that's how I thought it was spelt. But now, recently, it's apparently changed, and people are realizing that it was never spelled as T-O-O-N-S. It was actually spelled as Looney Tunes, T-U-N-E-S. How is this possible? How has someone managed to change this? How have we actually gone through our whole lives, everyone, all at once, watching Looney Tunes, one of the biggest shows in TV history, and no one can remember exactly how it was spelt? Everyone distinctly remembers it being spelt T-O-O-N-S. How is that even possible? How can someone actually comprehend this in their own mind, that something like this is happening? That a word in a title has a completely, is spelled completely differently? How? How can someone manage this? I'm not even sure. It really, really confuses me. Well, I guess we could move on to another one. And if you still are not convinced by all this evidence that I'm presenting to you, I'm going to continue bringing this evidence towards you because there are many more things that you will not be aware of. For example, in the movie Forrest Gump, there's a certain saying in this movie that you will be unaware with that he actually says it quite differently. The words, life is like a box of chocolates, he didn't actually say that. What he actually said was life was like a box of chocolates. Not life is like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. How can someone mishear that? How can someone think of something so differently? That one word, how can someone forget that it was was and not is? How could someone think that that could have changed like that? How could no one notice that? I mean, I guess you could say when it gets put onto a meme or a poster of some, it does make more sense to change it to is, just because then it kind of fits the description. Because life was like a box of chocolates probably fits better in the movie, but life is like a box of chocolates probably fits better in this world. But that's just, that's, that, 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 does, that doesn't make any difference. We don't need to be speaking about that. We're talking about the, pe the fact that people thought it was is, not was is not was is that's right not was is wait a second no it was the other way around wasn't it never mind moving on it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood that's a certain thing people remember right well that's not true it's now a beautiful day in this neighborhood. So this this is this is two words completely changed. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood is now it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Two completely different words just changed out of nowhere and no one actually seemed to notice, but now everyone has all of a sudden picked up on it 
as if it's as if something's changed. Something in the timeline has changed. Something where the Earth has fallen into a parallel universe, and now we're all left confused, wondering what exactly has happened. It's bizarre. It truly is. And then it gets even worse when you go back to more movies that, with certain lines. For example, in the one with Star Wars and Darth Vader. Most people remember Luke. I am your father. But it wasn't even Luke. He never said Luke. He said, no, I am your father. How can everyone forget this? How could, how could we all forget that one word, Luke, I am your father? It makes no sense how this could be possible. I mean, even the actor himself, when he was in an interview, he said it himself, Luke, I am your father. When I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father, I said to myself, he's lying. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father didn't say no, I am your father. So why have people forgotten this? And why are people realizing it now that it's changed? After all these years, people are only just realizing that it was actually no, I am your father. This has made a lot of people scratching their heads and rather confused, especially die-hard Star Wars fans who were completely unaware of this. They, they didn't even realize. And to make it even weirder, hardcore Star Wars fans didn't even realize that C-3PO's leg was actually silver throughout the majority of the older movies. No one realized this. And people were shocked to actually find out. This is some hardcore cases of the Mandela Effect, and people have actually been in awe about this. They've been wowed and amazed by how incredibly different this timeline that we're in right now has changed our society. Everyone isn't quite sure what is real and what isn't anymore. With, with our memories like this being messed around by whatever has happened, whatever world has changed it for us, we're now more incredibly confused than ever and not quite sure what exactly to do about it. It's, it's insane and we can't quite comprehend it. Our minds are blowing over this. It's too much. It's too much. And to make it even worse, titles of movies have slightly changed. For example, Sex in the City. It's Sex and the City. Who would have thought it? Out of all the things, Sex in the City isn't the actual title of a movie that people have remembered for so long. It's actually now Sex and the City, as if something in this world has changed it. How exactly is that even possible? I don't think we can even know for sure. And it gets even worse when there's another movie, Silence of the Lambs. People always say that the name of that movie is Silence of the Lambs. Well, that isn't quite the case. Because believe it or not, the actual name of Silence in the Lambs is THE Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, I'm not kidding. THE Silence of the Lambs. Can you believe the change in that title from the first one to the, to, to the, to the one that's right now? People have missed out THE for the past few years. How can someone actually miss out just the? I mean, they might have just said Signs of the Lambs and then it's just kind of cottoned on, but that, 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 that doesn't make any sense. You can't tell me that that doesn't make any sense. You can't tell me that this is not real, that this isn't happening right in front of you. You need to open your eyes and see what is exactly going on here. This is incredible stuff. This is, this is over the moon and this, this is scientific proof that it is coming to life. We need to understand what exactly is going on here. This is incredible. The fact that we are missing the point here. The fact that we are missing certain words and the way that certain titles are presented to us. The fact that it's all lies. It's all, be our society has been lying to us, lying to our faces. And only now we are, we are truly opening in our eyes to actually see what's going on. This is incredible. 
I've even just come across another one now that's just even more bizarre. The fact that in Snow White, there is another famous line that is said that is actually incorrect. You will not actually believe this, but you know the evil queen and her magic mirror. Well, we all know the saying, don't we? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Well, that's not exactly true. The actual line is magic mirror on the wall. Not mirror mirror on the wall, magic mirror on the wall. The fact that no one can remember that and that the actual line they remember is mirror mirror on the wall just questions our reality itself and truly brings out the fact that the Illuminati could be the ones that are brainwashing us into thinking these certain ways and this is truly the one that's making us tremble even more. I really don't know what else I could say. This is just absolutely amazing. It almost brings a tear to my eye that so many people have figured it out. The fact that we could actually potentially cure cancer because of this. This really, really does bring out the amazement in my eyes when I first, when I see stuff like this. The, this is why I make YouTube videos. This is why scientists made the Big Bang Theory. This is why we explore. This is what we do. This was why we were created, to point out the parallel universes between lines and, and, and the change in famous quotes that have appeared throughout history. I mean, you know, when you play that game, Chinese Whispers, and you start out with one word that you whisper into someone's ear, and then you pass it on to the next person, and then you go round a full circle, and usually the last person that gets the word, it's usually changed upon the way. Well, that's not actually kids mishearing what the word is, or people making a joke and trolling people by, by switching the words. No, that is the Mandela Effect people did hear what the person said. And we're just missing the point. Yes, I am making sense if you haven't already figured it out. I am making the most sense that I have ever made on my entire YouTube channel right now as we speak. So, what other brands could you be thinking that actually might have changed? Well, Fruit Loops. Have you seen Fruit Loops before? How do you think they're spelt, eh? They're actually spelt F O O T Loops. But most people thought it was spelt F R U I T Loops. The fact that people are missing these words, the fact that people aren't seeing what exactly is happening right before them is beyond belief. The fact that we haven't put this, put two and two together after all these years is beyond us. The fact that it, it can't have happened beyond these years, which is why it's much more easier to believe that the fact that a time traveler has come back in time from a certain point and decided to change our history, and that that is why we are seeing these slight changes in our world, like Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, out of all the things, out of all the brands that you could think, Fruit Loops is the one that changes the most, the one that gets to our hearts when we see it on a, this, this box, Fruit Loops. Fruit, not spelled as in fruit, just F-O-R, F-R-O-O-T, Loops. This is incredible. Or even the fact with Kit Kat or Cola. Apparently there was never a dash in the center. It was never there. According to the logo history, if we have a look. But that's not the case. We know that there was a dash there. We know at some point in history it was there. And then at some point in time, something changed. Something changed our timeline that made us fall into an alternate history. And now we are trapped in this little parallel universe where everything is slightly different. Not because of bad memory, just, just because 
it changed, and we know it has changed, but we need to find out the source. We need to find out exactly where it's coming from, but not just yet, because that would be just silly. We need to look at more evidence and actually prove to those non-believers what exactly is going on here, because it's the only way we can continue with our life. Once we get the non-believers to believe what we're believing, we can then continue on to our society and may become much better. We can become in peace. There will be no racism. There will be no sexism. There will be nothing. Once we have got this all sorted out, and once we have finally figured out the Mandela Effect and put everything together, we can live in peace forever and ever and ever. But let's look at some evidence first for the Mandela Effect, because it's the only way we can actually solve this and put it all to bed once and for all. Let's take a look. Another one for a brand name, Oscar Mayers. How do you think it's spelt? Most people believe that it was Mayer was spelt M-E-Y-E-R. But that's not the case. It's actually now Oscar Mayer, as in M A. Y E R. How can people miss that? Unless, of course, sometime in history we have fallen into a parallel world and something has changed us. Something has changed us once for all, and it's the only way we can go. There's no other way we can go. This is what we're in now. We have to accept it. Unless if we can find the source of what this problem is and what has actually sent us down this road into this bizarre logo-changing catchphrase renaming and, and movie adding this to world. We have to figure it out. We have to sort it. Because right now, this is why world hunger exists. You're probably thinking that's all it is, but trust me. There is much more. The Pacific Ocean now covers the entire globe on one side. I bet you didn't know that. I bet you thought there was another country on that side, but that's not the case. No, that never happened. The Pacific Ocean covers an entire globe on one side. Who would have thought that? That's insane. Oh, how about this one that I actually got messaged on Twitter? Because some people actually pointed this out. This is another one that actually blows my mind every time I think. Because I actually remember this from my childhood. My childhood actually thought this was true. And then when I have actually gone back, it wasn't the case at all. Curious George. That monkey and the guy with the yellow hat. I looked back in this history and found out this to be true. This was the actual case. This actually happened. George had a tail. We thought he had a tail, but now he doesn't. If you look back, he never had a tail throughout the entire time. In my childhood, I have been lied to. I am sure that at one point I remember seeing George's tail, but apparently he doesn't. He doesn't have a tail. He never had a tail. And it's been gone. I could have sworn, and many other people believe me too. They all remember George, Curious George, having a tail. But now we find out he doesn't after all this time. Something is not right. Something has changed our timeline, and we need to figure it out. But I believe I have figured it out. I think I have the actual answers for me right here, which obviously I will get to soon, but that's that's not the point. We need to prove for the non-believers that this is actually true, because once they realize that this is the problem, then we all can work together to get it fixed, or to accept the fact that we may be in this world forever, or not. I don't know. I haven't said my theory yet, but we'll soon find out. Another brand logo that I have come across is Febreze. Now, a lot of people think that it's actually spelt Febreze. It has double E in the middle, but that's not actually the case either. It's now Febreze with just one E in between the R and Z. How is that even possible? How can we actually manage that? How did no one ever come across that? That is incredible. Absolutely insane. No one could have ever thought of this. This is insane. 
The fact that everyone's entire lives we've been going on of our day buying Febreze and using it for what we need to use it for, and then now we've realized that the name was spelt wrong. It dream things like this bring me to the conclusion that maybe the moon landing actually was fake. Maybe JFK the assassination. Maybe it was all fake. Maybe all of the conspiracy theories are true. Maybe we're living on a flat earth right now because of the alternate timeline has changed it and has actually misshapen the earth into a flat one. And now that's why there are more flat earthers actually spreading around on Twitter believing that the earth is flat because it's actually changed in the past few years from whatever time travel has actually happened. And now the government are actually trying to cover it up to try and figure out what exactly is going on themselves because they're not actually quite sure what exactly is going on themselves. So they're trying to keep it covered until they actually find out how exactly all these things are changing because they are just as afraid of what this change than we are. For example, I think one of the biggest things though, for anyone who is still a non-believer, for someone who has still not figured it out of what exactly is going on here, I think this one out of them all, out of all the evidence that I have actually looked for for the Mandela Effect, I think this one is truly the biggest one, because this, everyone remembers. Everyone remembers it from the pictures, from the videos that were filmed of him. It's the only way I remember him, because I remember watching the videos and thinking, yes, that is what I remember, but looking back, it's not the case. So how about this? I present to the non-believers. Adolf Hitler had brown eyes. Yes, brown eyes. We believed that he had brown eyes throughout history, and how on earth would people not think that? From all the videos and pictures that we see, yes, people remember Hitler having brown eyes, but that's not the case. He had blue eyes. Or at least, that's what the history books are telling us. That's what this world is trying to tell us now, that Hitler actually had blue eyes and not brown eyes. How could anyone actually get that wrong? I thought it was pretty clear from all the history books and stuff that Hitler definitely had blue eyes, not brown. So the fact that so many people have got this wrong as well, I just don't know. I don't know what more evidence the non-believers would need for the Mandela Effect to be true. I really don't. It's really making me scratch my head in, in thought of what exactly the non-believers actually need to actually believe this theory to be true. I don't know what else they are wanting. What else are they wanting to see in this world that will make them look at the Mandela Effect and say, yes. I believe this. This is what I believe. You have proven to me in great depth that the Mandela Effect actually exists. However can I repay you? However can you actually do something? I will follow you for forever because this is truly the ultimate Mandela Effect theory and you have proven to me just how deep and meaningful this world is with the Mandela Effect, and we all need to work together to save ourselves from the Mandela Effect of what is happening to us right now. But alas, that can never happen. Because the non-believers are blind, the non-believers don't want to believe because they are refusing to believe. You know, they don't want us to know about the Mandela Effect. They are refusing. They don't want to believe it. And so they are deciding to ignore it and look at the other way and turn it into a parody. Turning it into a laughing stock to make people think that it actually isn't true. But we need to open our eyes and luckily many people on YouTube have opened their eyes and have believed into this paranormal effect of whatever is going on. 
which, like I have said earlier, I do know what's going on and I'm going to present it to you, but like I said, we need to present more evidence to the non-believers because this is such a serious topic that I needed to cover and such a st- serious topic that I have actually needed to express as much, as much as possible because it's so, so very serious. It's so serious, I actually can't even tell you how serious it is because I don't even have my face camera on right now. You know, so yeah. Another one I've come across. Something so bizarre. Smokey the Bear. You remember Smokey the Bear, right? I don't, so I'm I'm just reading this off of an actual uh, post that I found. But Smokey the Bear isn't actually Smokey the Bear. No. It's wrong. It's actually Smokey Bear. There is no the. People keep missing out the. Just like back with the Silence of the Lambs. They missed out the in there. And there's other places where people have missed out the. They're not focusing on the the. And that's why the is actually disappearing from all these words. And now it's happened again with Smokey Bear. Once again, another disappearance in this insane Mandela Effect theory. It's incredible. The fact that so many people have chosen to avoid this, have chosen to not believe in this Mandela effect of sorts, it's incredible. Unbelievable, even. I'm not even sure how to actually take it in because it's just so incredible. One final thing I think I will bring up is the one that has probably touched me the most. I know I think I said that before, but I can't remember, so I'll just say that this one has touched me the most, probably out of all of them, out of all the ones that I have gone through today. This one has probably touched me more than any other. Yes, touching me very badly, really fast in, indeed, touching me very, very hard. It's, it's, it's touching me right, right in the heart, yeah. It's touching me right there. Yeah, okay. I'm of course, I'm of course talking about the Monopoly guy. Can you see a difference? Is there something he's missing? Yes. That's because a monocle used to be where his eye is. People remember a monocle being there, just under where his eye is, but apparently he never had it. It was never there. But yet people who have had years of playing Monopoly, being huge businessmen, don't actually remember him not having a monocle. And now it's not there. People are freaking out and not quite sure what exactly is going on. And people can't take in the fact that something is not right. Some people have looked away. Like I said, the non-believers, not everyone believes in this. And they've laughed it off, saying that it's just silly and, and some kind of false memory. But we, we know better. We know that it is something much deeper, as we've established with all the other things that have happened in the Mandela Effect and all the other evidences that I have presented to you today. We know better that this is no more than the Mandela Effect. And the Monopoly guy is just another victim in this vicious cycle of the Mandela Effect, changing our world, confusing us, and trying to make us... And trying to make us not realise what exactly is real and what exactly is fake. And one final one. I think I said the other one was going to be the final one, but I just wanted this one because I just remembered it off the top of my head now. In Pokemon. Pokemon with Pikachu. Can you remember his tail? Well, in fact, most people remember there was like a little black bit at the end of his tail, but apparently that doesn't exist. It was never there. It was never there to begin with. Pikachu's tail has always been yellow. There was never a little black bit in the corner. It's always been yellow, and people have decided to freak out over this because they clearly remember in their childhood that Pikachu had some kind of black splodge at the end of his tail, but now that it's not there, people don't know what to do. They don't know how to react because apparently it was always like that. It never had one. And now people aren't quite sure what to think of this. This little bit of detail on a cartoon character, and people can't remember it. People aren't sure how to take it. They don't know what is happening now. The only way to turn to is, of course, 
The Mandela Effect. The only way to turn and look forward now is the Mandela Effect from this piece of detail, meaning quite clearly it has to have turned into some kind of huge parallel world. It's the only way to look. It's the only way to go. Mandela Effect is real. So with all this evidence looking directly in our faces, it really starts to beg the question, what exactly is going on here? And how is this even possible? Well, I believe I have found the answer here on my channel. As you're already aware, my channel has the greatest groundbreaking theories in existence that have molded our society into the way it is. I have answered the questions even scientists wouldn't dare to answer, such as Poppy and the story behind the character, or Robert Heltman, which is a channel that features a dead body on YouTube, and I, dis and I decided to talk about how it represents the 12 days of Christmas and its incredible stuff. But my biggest theory, which I believe proves the Mandela effect to be true, is my masterpiece, the Cloverfield universe, where I connect J.J. Abrams' two Cloverfield movies together. But while doing so, in both of my videos, I have noticed something in the comments section, something rather peculiar, something so dark and mysterious, it will chill you to the bone. I've noticed without doing so, my videos have created their very own Mandela Effect. And maybe, quite possibly, the answer to why all of this is happening. The why that Pikachu doesn't have a black splodge on his tail. Why the Monopoly Man doesn't have a monocle. Why Hitler has blue eyes instead of brown. Why New Zealand is in a completely different place to what people remember. Why all of these things are coming together and why the Mandela Effect exists in the first place. I have made people in the comments section question their own reality on what is true and what's not. And by doing so, I have figured out exactly what is happening. During these videos, I present my theory in almost a documentary type of way, as I thought it would be the most interesting way to present these videos. But by doing so, I created my very own Mandela Effect. Kinda. Everyone began commenting below, asking me, is this real? They were questioning their own reality. They couldn't remember if a giant sea monster came up to the surface and blew up New York City in 2008. They were also trying to remember if aliens took over the world last year in 2016, as that's when I said the second movie took place. How extraordinary. It was only last year when I said the second movie took place, and people were struggling in the comment section to remember if an alien invasion had actually happened or not that year. Bizarre. It's terrifying how the mind can play tricks on us. That is, if the mind really is playing tricks on us. But what if it isn't? What if an alien attack really did happen last year in 2016, and we just don't remember it? What if somehow this happened, but our world somehow fell into a parallel universe, or maybe even more believable, a time traveler did this from the future? In a future where aliens had taken over and destroyed the world, what if somehow these events we see in the movies actually happened, and in the future, aliens had taken over the world, but someone had created a time-traveling machine in the future, and they traveled back in time to a certain event and stopped the aliens from invading Earth at the very beginning, and has now started making movies based on actual human history that he changed. Yes, you've got it. J.J. Abrams is a time-traveler.
and he created the Mandela Effect. And he did it in order to save the human race from the aliens we see in his Cloverfield movies. These movies are him showing us what would have happened if he hadn't made the change. He's showing us he needed to travel back in time and he needed to change history to save the human race. It was the only way, nothing he could have done. That's why he created his ARG, the alternate reality game. It's why he uses real events in history and puts them in these movies. It's not because he wanted to make them feel more real, it's because they actually happened. And because of J.J. Abrams, he is the reason why so many little details have changed over time. It's why we're getting so confused by our past memories and starting to question what is real and what is fake. J.J. Abrams is the one that did this, but the reason he did this is because he saved us. We remember our alternate timeline before J.J. Abrams saved us from the alien attack. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. But this brings us to the question, how far back did he go? How far back did he actually need to go in order to stop the aliens from invading the Earth? Well, he said it himself. The baby sea monster in his first Cloverfield movie is thousands and thousands of years old. So that's the time period he went back. He went back thousands and thousands of years to destroy the baby Cloverfield monster and then came back to our time to actually start making movies as a reminder of what could have happened. But while doing so, he somehow actually changed the position of New Zealand and also made a bunch of countries trees move away from one side of the globe all onto one side, making the entire Pacific Ocean cover half of the Earth, and also do a bunch of other stuff as well that create the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect. So I'm pretty certain this is the theory that you have all been waiting for. The theory that people have recommended to me to actually talk about when I was bringing up the Mandela Effect. It is the only way we could have actually done something. And I am glad to present this theory to you today. And I hope that it actually opened your eyes to realize that the Mandela Effect isn't a bad thing. It is only the after effects of what J.J. Abrams had done when he travelled back in time to save us from an alien invasion that we are seeing in his movies, and his future movies to come as well, will show us surely what would have happened if he hadn't have created the Mandela Effect. I hope you all realize exactly what happened here. And I hope you all remember that on this day, we discovered the truth about the Mandela Effect and what really it is and what its secrets behold to us today. Thank you all for watching this video and thank you for all paying so much attention to the detail within this theory of what could have potentially happened. All the best to you all. Have a great day. Stay safe and have a wonderful April Fools. Why are you making her call? Is this some kind of sick joke you're trying to pull just to make me go insane? You, you've been getting... You, you've been getting calls from someone else? What have they told you? They haven't told me anything. The phone usually rings shortly after you. I answer it, and there's silence. But then there's a vague laughter I can hear in the background shortly after. A girl. Wow, you really set the tone for these types of things. I can see why they tried to pay you the big bucks. So you don't know who she is? Hmm, well, it's all in your head, Barry. Nothing to... nothing out of the ordinary. Well, I, uh... I... I guess so. You know what'll make it stop? 
Work. Get working! I... I guess... I guess you're right. Alright, I'll... I'll just... I'll just get back to work then. Alright. Bye. Simon, does anyone else come in this room after me? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. So congratulations. You have made it to the end of the video. Or just skipped. I don't know. You might have done something like that. If you have watched it all, then bloody well done. I will have to say that to you. Um, so I probably should probably explain. I've said probably twice. That's always great. Yeah. Uh, gonna try and do this all in one take because I can't be bothered to actually redo it again. Um, so this was uh, an April Fool's in case anyone hasn't quite figured that part out yet. Yeah, I, I, I did say April Fool's at the end. Have a great April Fool's, but not everyone will have probably figured it out. So instead of just letting people guess, and uh, I think it'd be kind of funny to make the video just that little bit longer and more ridiculous by adding in this extra little part where I just say, yeah, it was April Fool's. I don't, I don't believe in half of the stuff that I was saying. It was all just a big prank for you. Yeah, for April Fool's. I thought it would be a lot more funnier if I actually just uh, had the video, like a really long video on April Fool's just talking about a ridiculous conspiracy theory. And with the Mandela Effect being fairly popular at the time I'm making this, I thought, you know what? Why not? Why not make a theory on the Mandela Effect? It wasn't going to be uh, this long. It was just going to be like nine minutes of me just, you know, making fun of it. Or, well, just being a parody of basically my channel. <laughs> yeah, basically just parodying my channel, but using the Mandela Effect. Um, but then I, I, I came to the idea that it might be even funnier if I just have it insanely long and it's just me making up so much, so much crap. Uh, and just making stuff up as I go along for as long as I possibly can. Uh, I, I just make it really long. It just just so when people click on the video without seeing the time, uh, the, the time of how long the video is, the video length, they just click on it, and then they look to the side, and they see it's, like, nearly an hour long, and they're just like, what? what? What's he talking about that makes it this this long? And I thought that be, it's a shame I can't see people's reactions when that happens, but... I can just imagine it when I actually upload this video and people are just, you know, searching on YouTube just every day and then they just see, you know, there's just in the corner of this, oh, Mandela Effect, I know that theory, Shane Dawson did it, so it, it, this video must be just another one of Mandela Effects that I don't know. Oh, it's an hour long, what? What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um... So before before anyone gets the wrong idea, I don't I don't despise the Mandela effect. This is just a parody of the thing. I don't mind the actual theory. I think some some parts are actually kind of uh, of cool of a cool idea. I don't believe in it, but it, it it's really it, it did is one of those where you kind of look back and it's like oh I didn't realize um, that everyone actually kind of mistook these um, certain lines from. I'm gonna burp. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that felt weird. Uh, what was I saying now? Oh yeah, <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, I, I I just I I made it. I do like the Mandela effect. Uh, I don't I don't think it's it's entirely. Um, it's kind of a cool concept idea, and I I really like the thought of it being pos. You know these 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 possibilities of of w where it could be. Um, like, like the lines with, with Darth Vader and Star Wars, I remember reading an article about something where, it, where, it, where all, you know, there's all these certain lines in movies that people remember differently. There's another one in Dracula where, uh, I, th I think the line is something like, I want to suck your blood, but in the actual movie, he never says that ever. I, I remember even, um, looking at Dracula movie when I hadn't seen it before and I heard that line was in it and I remember skipping through the whole movie trying to find it and I couldn't find it. You know, and it's just, just stuff like that um, that I find cr rather interesting, you know, that a whole group of people, quite a large group of people, remember a certain thing. 
um, uh, like certain lines, but I, I don't relate it to anything magical. I think the part where it come where the time traveler comes in, kind of gets a bit a bit silly. But I like the idea uh, of obviously people not remembering a bunch of people kind of remembering the same event in a different way, but they all remember it in this in the same way, but it didn't actually happen that way. If that you obviously know what I'm trying to say, I think. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much. That's pretty much what, what I think. I don't hate the Mandela effect. This was more of just a parody, and probably more of a parody on my channel as well, because I obviously make theories that are rather bizarre, and and so it's and the Mandela effect is probably a good a good one to choose to to parody my channel while also doing while also parodying a a, a silly well a, an over the top theory. I don't know if I'm actually getting my point across or anything, but. <laughs> I'm also kind of just dragging it out a little bit just to get to that hour mark, just so when I know that it will be like an hour long when I actually upload this video and people will be like, oh my god, it's an hour long, what what on earth has he done? Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe I'll just add something silly in at the end, you know, just to just to make it, get, get it to that one hour mark. It'll be the best, won't, won't it? <laughs> Some weird April Fool's thing. I don't know why, I just... I think it'll be funny. That's if I can get it uploaded. I don't even know. If you're seeing this video now, then I'm, I'll, I'll be quite happy because I don't know if I'll actually get it uploaded in time. Because when I upload like a, a nine minute video, it takes like two hours to actually upload just on 720. That's why this video, if you check now, it will be in 720 because I wouldn't even dare uploading it in 1080. An hour long video in 1080. I would have to start uploading it like three days in advance before April Fool's just to make sure I actually get it uploaded in time. So I'm hoping that I can somehow get get this this done in time and this whole uh, I'll put it in 720 in in hopes that it'll oh there's an alarm going off. Oh it's gone off now. There's been like power cuts going off and off and on and off every day today. It's, it's a bit weird. But yeah so if if it's uploaded, then that'll be great. But it, you might so to be honest, I might be talking to the camera, and you might never actually end up seeing this footage, um, because I I might have actually missed the April Fool's Day. I'm going to try and aim to upload it at one minute past midnight GMT time, um, which means it'll be technically April Fool's Day in the UK, but obviously it might might be a little bit earlier for some people who are in America which you'll probably see in the comments, people who are from time zones that are behind the UK will be commenting, it's not April Fool's Day yet. Or, if you're actually, like, a uh, few months down the line, you're probably going, it's not April Fool's Day. Why is this video made? Because some people can't quite comprehend that videos sometimes are made a few months before they see them. A lot of people get into their heads when they go on YouTube that every video they see on that day was uploaded on that day, and they can't quite figure that out. Um... So, so yeah. this has just turned into me insulting people now. Isn't that a fun, fun little job? I think I've made the video long enough now. You can probably hear trucks and stuff driving by. Like I said, you heard the alarm clock, but the alarm clock, the alarm, burglar alarm going off because power cuts. And then there's also some kind of roadworks going on that sent a bunch of cars uh, all coming up and down our lane. So we're getting like these giant trucks driving by, which is such fun. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because I think I've just dragged it out enough. And looking at it, I've actually... I, I'm looking now. I needed like 10 minutes and I think it's been 9 minutes. I've talked for 9 minutes of just non-stop... a bunch of shit. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> oh dear. I cut... yeah. Oh, I, I can just talk for ages, but none of it will make sense because I'll like stutter and then stop and then talk into... This is why I need jump cuts, to be honest, just because I, I, I say one thing and then I don't actually mean it, so I have to cut that part out because I'm like, that's not what I actually meant. I meant something else, but I just worded it wrong. So yeah, it's such so fun. Anyway, thank you guys for all watching. Also, thank you for everyone who's still here, and um, thank you for 50k subscribers. I can't believe I actually uh, got that so fast. When I started the new channel and stuff, uh, people were obviously uh, were very confused why I decided to randomly move channels to, to a different thing. For anyone who is actually wondering, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not an actual choice I decided to make, like, 
out of the blue, like, oh, you know what'll be fun if I made a completely new channel and starting again? You know, the fact that people haven't quite figured out that something bad happened so I had to start again, the fact that some people haven't figured that out and think that I just decided to randomly start on another channel all over again is... I don't know. It, I, how people couldn't put two and two together that something bad might have happened and the fact that I am not telling anyone what happened is just... I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but basically someone tried, well, someone who was supposed to be a friend didn't really help out uh, um, when they needed to, and then they actually tried to claim the channel as theirs, and then obviously tried to threaten to sue me in that point, so that was a lot of fun. Um, but then again, because the channel wasn't actually theirs, they obviously lost the whole friggin' thing, and they just kind of looked like a bunch of idiots, and how they actually handled it was very unprofessional. Uh, and so, but we, which I still had to obviously move away because I didn't really want anything to do with them. Uh, and, and I thought it was, well, my parents thought it was the best way to actually probably move on. And in a way, I'm actually kind of glad I did in the end because this channel, uh, is kind of going the way I'm wanting it to. And I've, I've kind of got a little story that goes on. The little lore that happens in, but shh, I'm not supposed to mention, I'm supposed to be in character right now, uh, so I won't mention that anymore. Anyway, guys, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully the channel will keep growing, because it, like I said, it's 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 grown a lot faster than I thought. I thought we, we'd be still on, like, 20,000 subscribers right now. I wasn't sure if we'd... So the fact that it's kind of gone up pretty fast... I keep... I, I... I don't know, I think I just, I drank a lot of, of Coca-Cola just before I filmed this, so that's why I'm burping a lot right now. Um, I'll just get going. See you next time, guys, and I'll, yeah, see you in the next video. Stay safe, and don't pull a pickard.